Hello and welcome again. I wonder why it's not working. Why the the box uh, the P uh, the Windows box uh, he didn't get any uh, IP address. So what I found that uh, we we check this box. We should not check this box because uh, he tell us that. Uh, we need to uh, get the SCP leases uh, to make static the SCP leases which is right here so let's save okay uh, I think yeah supplied now let's go to yeah we see it's already uh, that's fine perfectly fine now that's it that's everything you need to configure the SCP server. You need gateway. Your DNS server will be provided by your general setup uh, right here. And uh, you don't need anything else. Now, uh, if you go to DHCP leases, you find that we have this lease, which is uh, 1.2.168.78. Uh, okay, you can also. Uh, you can also make uh, uh, s like uh, static mapping let's go back to our DCP server and let's go right here you can see now we can add and where is the that that one but uh, you can go from here and you can go here you can see that add a static mapping for this MAC address and you see it's uh, already provided uh, like client identifier or uh, everything and that's it save apply and you see now in the on our uh, but it's more beneficial to provide description as like, which is like uh, copy paste Windows XP PC 1 or let's say service pack 3 <laughs> PC 1 and something like that you can also create an ARP table static entry for the MAC and the IP address pair. Uh, this is will make uh, use of uh, what if after we configure all those we can enable this. So only the uh, MAC addresses will get the IP addresses as if uh, the DHCP server is already running. So if we enable this and say save and let's stop let's stop our server we'll stop it right now so we don't have the SCP server if we go here and say let's say let's disable and let's enable it should get an IP address like the SCP server already running it should not uh, it will get um, let's see our DSCP server um. okay let's try to see oh oh do you see this uh, cannot enable static ARP when you have static map entry without IP address. Okay, okay. You know now what we have. Let's say we need this 192.168.57.10. That's it. IP address must be without within the. Yes, 
must be within this so must not be within the DSCB anyways anyways we will configure it uh, next time so now let's uh, run our DSCB server you can see now it's connected already oops uh, he get the uh, the service I think yeah you get the service but fortunately uh, we didn't catch that but we can stop it again and go let's disable last time okay and let's enable that again That's interesting, really, <laughs> because we don't have this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it will not work anyway. It will not work. Yeah, it will not work, unfortunately. try to do this hmm. maybe I should read about that more enough or how to configure it in uh, in uh, BF sense so for now let's change this let's remove and we will save apply configuration and we can see that this is working even if the TSCP server or let's say services already all, all of them running let's go to, to the NTP server now uh, it by default it will uh, get you will get uh, this one but uh, I think maybe you if you have like more than one it will be uh, it will be uh, more more stable or let's say you have a failover and something like that now uh, you can go and st show what's uh, the the logging system or logging uh, uh, login points you need to log to your syslog server and you we will see how to configure also syslog server and how to uh, get all those uh, to your syslog server access restriction now this is a uh, restriction or related to secure your uh, NTP server uh, maybe it's by default uh, it's uh, well secured let's say now uh, uh okay let's let's go back to our DSCP server and we will change this to be from 10 to 100 okay and we will deny a known host and we will uh, enable static ARP entries and we will save this and we'll go again and we will give him like 192.168.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
weapon? No, we don't need any better static. Okay, let's save this. Well, uh, the IP address must be. Oh, sorry. 57.10.10. IP address must be in the LAN subnet. Okay. IP address must be not be within the DSCP range for this interface. It's, it's out of this. Okay, okay, fine. Apply changes. Let's stop this. Okay. Let's move and disable it. To the last time. And we will enable this. Oops, yeah. What's this? 